My first time doing the warning, I liked it, but I knew they had a little more in them. I just wanted to see them let loose. My second time hearing the warning, I almost fell out of my chair. When Pow did that scream during Evolve at the MTV Awards, I knew they had it in them. I'm back for my third time today hearing their new track, Hell You Call a Dream, on the cusp of their new album out today. Let's get to it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Low End University. Hell You Call a Dream is from The Warning's fourth studio album, Keep Me Fed, released today. <laughs> I've never gotten to say that on a video. It's super cool. And what I've come to love about The Warning is they have that sibling charm, which means they have that sibling chemistry. When I think back to some of my favorite bands, Van Halen, Pantera, Heart, even more modern bands like Hailstorm, Lizzie and RJ, there's something about that sibling chemistry that I picked up on very early with The Warning. It's not something you see It's not something you really hear, but it's something you feel when you watch these bands. They have that telepathic kind of musical chemistry. But before we get started, this is important. Please go support the band. First week stream numbers, first week sales are everything. It depends what the band gets paid per show. It depends on what tours they get. It depends on how they're billed in festivals. If you're waiting to buy their album in two weeks on payday, I suggest you do it today. And they're not sponsoring me to say any of this. I just want to see young rock bands continue to succeed because... You know, rock isn't dead, and I want these ladies to carry the torch, and I already think they are, but please go support them. Now let's get to it. This is a live performance from the Pepsi Center in Ciudad de Mexico of Hell You Call a Dream. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh, I can hear the bass tone. Couldn't hear that last time. Space fill there. Okay, I've not heard this band tuned down like that. It really gives them such a a bigger sound. I think they were in kind of standard tuning. I, you know, back when I did Dust to Dust, Evolve at the MTV Music Awards or whatever. This is down here in C, and I can hear Ale's bass tone. I know you guys corrected me. I think I said Ale in a previous video. Alejandra, Ala, Ale. It's kind of weird to say without the Alejandra part. Okay, I love that she's using a pick. I hear that really growly signature Spectre tone. I've been reading about her signature model. I think this is a different one from what I've seen, but it's down here in C. And then, you know, they're typically going up the C minor scale. I just love that I can hear it cutting through. And I love watching Powell on the drums. She is so enthusiastic. Man, they're just fun to watch, and I love watching the live videos of them. I want to see them go so far, and it looks like they already are. Let's go back here. I want to kind of hear the lead into this part. Yeah, she's got some some tenacity in the voice now, and she did on previous videos, but I feel like they're really growing into their own, just, just letting loose a little bit. And I knew they had it in them back when I saw them a little younger, so let's see where this song goes. This is fun. She's got it on lock. You can't play a Spectre bass. And I used to play one for a long time. And I still need to, I want to get another one. I had a Legend 6 string. Anyway, point being, you can't play a Spectre bass without having that growl poke through. It's been used on iconic records. Appetite for Destruction, Metallica's Black Album. It's got that sound. Doug Wimbish, Living Color. And I love that she's kind of leaning back into plucking near the bridge where you, 
you kind of tighten up that tone a bit. You know, if you pluck that low C, especially just the nature of that lower pitch, it gets a little kind of washy up here, but she's got it way back here, kind of getting that growl, just, you know, really locked in. So that's an intentional thing to kind of poke through in this kind of heavier mix. And I love this kind of mid-tempo thing. I remember Evolve being kind of a little thrashier, more upbeat, but this has a nice kind of just perfect tempo groove going on. I'm just loving the C. It's got a dark, heavy edge. Snarly. that slide she's doing and this 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 progression has a really good cadence to it just the kind of arrangement of those chords i don't have it quite down i'm kind of paying attention to everything but it's catchy uh-oh That's cool. Woo! Ooh, I like that just fanatical yelling type of singing when there's nothing going on. It just really carries that emotion over and doesn't lose the momentum. And just the whole songwriting approach. I love that. That could have been a, hell, you call, you know, she could have brought it down, but she just keeps that momentum going. They're great songwriters. I picked up on this very early, and I love to hear it in this heavier kind of more modern down tune kind of thing they've got going on. I wonder if the whole album's in like this, or maybe it's just this song. You know, there's a couple of other singles released, but the whole album's out today. So I need to go listen to it because I want to kind of hear a bit more context a snapshot of where they are today. Cause I remember my first video, you guys are like, you gotta check them out a little, a little more recent that, that they were younger than I'm going to, don't worry. Got a great voice. She could flip between those modes dream. just like that. Yeah, just look at her expressions here. Just commands the audience. They've got the knack for it. I didn't realize they were as young as they are even now. I thought they were maybe later 20s. I think they're more like earlier mid-20s. And, you know, I love seeing young musicians just kill it, just succeed, just thrive. You can just tell when bands have it or they don't. And they have it even if they weren't siblings. I guess that's in a parallel universe, but the point being is that I just pick up on that chemistry really well. They're just on the same wavelength, the way they move, the way they energetically perform. The drummer, pal, she's just infectious to watch. I said that in the first video I saw of them. Let's play this out. she's smiling sometimes you just gotta love watching musicians because they're great musicians sure but they're just fun to watch i just did the living in prisoner of society that was the most that was the last video i just loved watching that bass player he had some crazy cool things going on on the bass sure and i talked about that but sometimes you're just drawn to that certain musician on stage <clears throat> and as great as the upfront two on guitar and bass are the drummer has my heart i just love watching her I know a lot of you agree. Just look at that. So fun.
Nice one. I feel like I'm finally catching up on where the warning are today because I've done some older videos. I was a little late getting to them and I'm just doing what you guys are requesting. Thank you guys for coming on my videos and letting me know this existed. I have so many bands in the queue, so much new music to check out. And a lot of you came in and reminded me that the warning are putting out new material. And you know, I've had friends that want to go see them live. I don't think they're coming anywhere quite near me. I think they would just be fun to experience in that environment. And their new album is out today. As I've said in the intro, their first week numbers are very important. I want to see young bands succeed. It's very hard to cut through in the industry and they've done a fantastic job. Otherwise, you guys wouldn't be here telling me about them. But every little bit helps. It takes people like you and I to make an album successful, a tour successful. And I just have a soft spot for seeing young sisters living their dream, doing it. And they're just great songwriters. I still want to see them just really let loose. They have more than I thought they would when I first heard it. And this was a great song, but I feel like they're really coming into their own being heavy, having good dynamics between emotions. Their stage presence was great the first time I saw them. I think Evolve had more of that woe moment. I know they have it in them, but I need to go listen to the full album and maybe I can check out another track here on the channel. Let me know. But I'm just in love with what they're doing. I love seeing rock bands come out in the age of pop and everything really processed. It, you know, it could be anybody, but I love that they're carrying the torch for good hard rock. Love the bass tone in this one. The sisters are great. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you'd like to support the channel further, come find us on Patreon. I do full album breakdowns over there. I have tons of bass lessons and backing tracks and other sorts of things. Come join us. And if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I love you all. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.